My first stop was the hospital in the town of Idre. I was filled with revulsion at the sight of children who'd been attacked by the Janjaweed. In one bed was an 11-year-old boy, Abdullah Abakar, who'd been shot in the foot. In the same room was Abakar Yaakov, who was 17 and had one bullet in the stomach and another in his leg. There was a 13-year-old girl, Fatma, who, along with her sister, had been shot when she went to get firewood. Then there was a six-year-old boy, Khalid, who'd been hurt in the foot in two places. But in some ways, the people who make it to the hospital are the lucky ones because they can get reasonable medical care, and at least once they reach Adre, they are out of harm's way. I left Audrey wanting to find the kinds of places that the victims in the hospital beds had come from. So I drove south, along the border, through village after village. In the town of Carmododo, I met Harun Ismail, who agreed to take me back to the place where his family had been attacked just 13 days earlier. His wife was running away, clutching their infant baby, Ahmed, in her arms when the Janjaweed overtook them. The Janjaweed began beating her and left her unconscious. And then they picked up Ahmed and checked and saw that he was a boy and then threw him to the ground and shot him in the chest. He said my child grave uh, was the village grave over I there. See. So he said I can't uh, go, vi show the yeah, grave. go visit the It's too grave. dangerous. The yeah, Janjaweed is still there. Uh, uh, um, uh, as he warned us, so it's very dangerous now for us. Okay. We, we said to stop here to talk. So okay. they, he said that they, they saw us now, right from the trees. He thinks the Janjaweed have seen us? Yeah, they seen then, us from the trees. So Then maybe we should go. Yeah. Yalla. So we should go back. Right up to you with One of the most successful tools that the Janjaweed has used to terrorize people and drive them away is by widespread rape. These two girls, Fatma Adam, who's 15, is on the left, and Harita Gamar, who's 20, is on the right, described being raped by six men in military uniforms just three days earlier. They had gone down to gather vegetables and fruits when the Janjaweed attacked them. The Janjaweed used racial epithets about their dark skin and beat them with a gun. They're just a few of the rape victims that you find everywhere all across Darfur and now in Chad itself. One of these young women said something that really haunted me. She said that these are the things that they used to do in Darfur and now they're doing them to us. The Chadian government is in a terrible situation because it doesn't have enough troops to protect the border areas. In the town of Ade, the local governor spoke with us about his frustration. He talked about how the Janjaweed use humans as targets, how they kill a person as if he were a chicken. But he said that he did not have enough soldiers to go and protect these villages. Beyond Ade, the situation becomes even more desperate and dangerous.